Well, 115, I reckon. Yeah, so do I. Uh, and if not, you know, do you know what? I think Molly's really up for it. Because he's had a few gremlins and a few problems, I think, you know, Molly thinks a little bit like uh, Michael Dunlop. I think he's going to want to stamp his authority. And uh, as long as he has no more gremlins, no more problems, I think he will be pushing hard tonight. Yeah, it's only a very small close-knit team. But that's the way we like it, the way we work. Dave doesn't like being here, you know, in the middle of it all. He just likes to do his own little thing. And it works for him. It works for us. It's been a big project over the winter. It's a different engine, it's a different chassis, it's a different aerodynamics, different electrics are different. It's, it's been intense. He knows that that machine is capable of winning with, and with him and Dan on it, and it's just the fine tuning. And this is what practice is, is all about. And I think if we get these little um, problems ironed out this week, you know, we're going to have a great chance on Saturday for a good result. I think the man to watch tonight will be Molly. Uh, I really do. I, uh, I think he'll, he'll be a man on a mission, I'm sure. <laughs> on the line, ready to go. Problems to him last night, he sat in the chair and leaving me, pardon me. Don't go and talk to him when he's sat in there. <laughs> Looking at 112, 05, 20 minutes, 12, 158 for this lap time. Also, we're nearly ready to go here now. Dave Dawn, 96, 47, and Arsenal Hawking, number 58. And they're ready to do four as we get underway with the chairs. And Dave Molyneux blast down Bray Hill, once again hoping for no problems this evening. Number four, Tim Reeves, Pat Ferrance away. Doesn't that sound fantastic? He, he likes to make the show, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think I can hear engine noises in the distance. I do. It's the first machine on the road. Molyneux comes up quickest on the time in shoot so far, but uh, we think Tim Reeves might be a little bit neater. And uh, it is Reeves the quickest. Uh, Molyneux two seconds back. You like this tonight, <laughs> <laughs> Well, certainly qualifying becomes at the end of the week the main concern. So Dave Molyneux, of course, desperately does need right. them. Uh, he'll just be looking, I think, to get a full. Like, uh, obviously, he's had a little bit of bad luck and some gremlins this week already. Tim Rees won't be letting him go and probably wanting to learn a little bit, I would think. Certainly, the character of Tim Rees. Tim Rees and Dave Molyneux. There's John Hogan, Anthony Winkle. Next to that, Ian Bell, Carl Beck, Ben Birchall, Tom Birchall. Well, it is uh, Rees and Molyneux at the top of the heap. Here's Molly. Very, very quickly. At 4.54, his sector time. Molly's improved, but only by a second or so with a 4.59. So Tim Reeves and Pat Barrett really on one tonight. Reeves, Reeves will be squeezing the foot ahead of him. He'll be going like a fucking There he is. He's going straight through. That's his first couple up. Wait and see for the times to appear, but uh, I'm sure Molly will be much, much happier with, uh, with that lap time. Uh, than his results from earlier in the week. But uh, right on his tail is Tim Reeves. Reeves is caught, though. Reeves is caught. Yeah. Uh, Reeves has gone quicker, as has Molyneux. And that is actually Tim Reeves' quickest ever lap. So well done to Tim Reeves. I know it's only in practice, but it's his quickest ever lap. 135.8 and Dave 
use that. Please. Dave, man. Yeah. 114.8. That's Dave, 114. 114.738. Not a lot, is it? Yeah. No. They're only the second faster than the first lap. Yeah. All right, how's it going? Yeah, good. Yeah, he did. got two laps and at least he's qualified now. <laughs> Reeves is quicker, though. That's not all right. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's under geared. Yeah, I wonder give it a fuck. Yeah. Shy? I said that, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you were saying it. As soon as I seen the fucking speed lap time, I seen Reeves catch us, that bike's under geared. Yeah. It must have been quite fun out there, though. <coughs> I seen Reeves that. Is, is he hard? Hey? Eh? Is he hard? He was fucking all over the show. <laughs> so mind you, we went up the inside of him, Ramsey. Yeah. And outraged yeah, the cell. Past him. I was up on top of his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck, we're not going to make this. So now I just fine tune him. Yeah. One more. 141, nearly 142 at the speed trap. They were 146. Yeah. That's the under gear, isn't it? Yeah, it's just under gear. Yeah. It's just yeah. creeping down. You know, he's smashed into the back of him. Oh. Jesus Christ. You twice. passed him somewhere. Ramsey, mm. I just thought, he's in my way. Fucking hell, what a nuisance. I got past him. <laughs> but his bike was just fast. You dragged so. him up the mountain, I know. You thought, <clears throat> don't, let, don't be showing him. Don't, yeah, I know what yeah, you're yeah, saying. Don't be leader. showing him. Yeah. I knew exactly what you were at. I thought, as soon as you pinched me, I thought, oh. Yeah. Well, you're going to tone him along. Yeah. Waste yeah. of fucking time. Yeah. He got his run up the mountain. Yeah. He'd be like this tonight, but wait, oh, wait yeah. till we get that gear right. Fantastic. Right? Yeah, it should be right. He's, going to do a he's, got, he's got two obstacles in his way anyway. Yeah. yeah. We're up now. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. He did an amazing job. Amber. Flies, bad? It's not bad for me. No. I was all right. Handling good? Yeah, it's just a little bit skittery still. Just needs that sorted out. Right. And to get that sorted out, get the gear sorted out, we're there. Yeah. Now, what, what is, is the, the difference, difference between Jim Reeves and Patrick Ferrandes today, and now... And they've, they've dropped, dropped to eight seconds behind Tom and Ben Virchow. No, he's dropping right back. He's eight seconds behind Virchow. Bit of a misfire on that one, I feel, as it goes away from Ramsey Airpin. A misfire. misfire. Holding on to third place, though. Yeah, it's in front. Not 20 seconds beyond Ben and Tom, right? Yeah, that's not good. He's got definitely issues. It's not, not revving out, out. I think it's getting to a certain rev range and then it's just kind of misfiring. So he dropped down to 39 seconds now behind Holden and Winkle. And that is an indication that all is not well with that, but he's been trying to nurse it round. It's red. It's red. But it, it, is the red flag out? Definitely, or? It stood there with it on the, on the track. With yeah, the red flag? Yeah, with the red flag. Okay. So, it's yeah. full course red. Yeah, we've got a, we have got... An incident, we're being told, at Wren Cullen. An incident at... Crash at Wren Cullen. So they've gone through there, haven't they? Yeah, yeah they're in bungalows. Yeah. We get it. There's a red flag. Certainly this race here is going to be stopped. Twice, though. No, it didn't, yeah. did it? Fuck it. What, and you had to try and push it on? What, what, what's happened? No, no, red flag. Yeah, red colour. It's got no go at all. We were watching you, you're just going backwards. Take take the fairing off. Where's the, where's the box? Who's got the box? Grab the grab a, uh, grab, grab a screwdriver at the box. That's what? It's not as good as the other engine. Yeah, but still, yeah, but did you not fit it? You just didn't have no yeah. punch, did you? Keep calm, keep we calm. We have a red flag going out here at Ramsey, but uh, we've been kind of a part of that decision one time before when they remember Guy Martin, I think that the race was on, and they definitely got an instruction for the red flag to go out here at Ramsey. You don't know that, sir. What's the number like? Yeah. When I was driving, when I was riding it, yeah. I set up from here, yeah. when I got to... Like where did it get? I felt it go. It, 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 it was pulling strong, and it was pulling strong until I got to Greaver Bridge. Yeah, so I came out of Greaver Bridge. It started to go, and it, and it just like dropped off. I thought, I thought it was going to seize up. 
I thought, you know what I mean? It, it, yeah. it lost a load of power, yeah. Just went, it went right off. Yeah, brand new. I didn't really pop in. No, yeah, you know that year me and Dave broke down? I heard it coming down out of the mountain. I heard it just start. I could hear it every time and then we stopped it. We've run out of time. We've got to go with what we got. The way the bike is not quite how Dave and Dan wants it, they're just going to have to go hard. <laughs> Well, the fog has finally cleared, so let's get ready to race. After a disastrous TT by his standards, 17-time winner and all-time sidecar legend Dave Molyneux is looking for another win today. Some say he will be out of revenge. It's the man that everyone's been talking about this, this week. Molyneux All knows the track better Dave than Molyneux anybody around here, but Dan how will he sailed. get on today? more than capable of pushing and taking a new lap record. That distinctive and self-designed red outfit will once again have clear roads ahead of him. Well, it's kind of an unwritten rule here when Molly's in the outfit, do not disturb. I'm dangerous. 17 time winner Dave Molyneux promotes history. Eight time winner Dan Sale. I bet you wish sometimes Dave wasn't running when you were racing here anyway. Uh, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>